Hello, Brigadiers! Welcome back to Pokémon Academy Life, the game where I have to pause the recording every 10 minutes just so it doesn't crash. Today is another day in Kobukon Academy. And let's see what we're gonna get up to today. <clears throat> and now it's straight back to the grind. If I remember right, the professor said we'd have a quiz today. Oh, it's our first. Oh yeah, it's Thursday, so it's our first quiz. Shouldn't be a problem, I hope. Isn't that the guy that got chewed out yesterday by Lance? Oh God. Yeah, I think it is. He's talking about being all buddy buddy with his Pikachu or Pikachu or some crap. Isn't his Pikachu like crazy weak too? Like, how did someone like him even get into this school? And he's just some nobody that got here just because of his parents' money. Why well, you talk back to Lance? What a jackass. Ah, <sighs> yeah. I've only been here for a week. A little less than a week, and I'm already infamous. Wonderful. Well, I guess what happened yesterday did happen in front of countless other students, so I can't say I'm too surprised. You guys, I... I'd say you two are the real jackasses here. Whitney, come into our rescue. Huh? Before I even had the chance to say anything, Whitney just jumped in herself. What did you say? So you turned her deaf too, huh? I'm not su not too surprised, considering anybody with normal hearing would gouge out gouge their own ears out after listening to the way you douchebags talk. What's your problem? Her problem? What's your problem? You guys think you're cool laughing at someone else's circumstances? Bad-mouthing someone behind their backs? You guys are the lowest of the low. I really hate dealing with stuff like this so early in the morning, so you guys better be beat it before I get angry. Get out of here! Whoops, I think I missed a word. Tch. Assholes. Oh, hi! Turbo, ready for another exciting day of school? I, uh... What do I even say to her after saying something like that? Good morning, Turbo, and good morning to you too, Whitney and Flannery. Morning, Leaf. Morning. You should be getting your seat too, Turbo. Class is, again. Class is starting soon. Yeah, I know. Hey, Whitney Flannery, uh, thanks for that. I think to say I prefer to fight my own battles, but I really appreciate it. I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> she meant to say, not a problem. <laughs> uh, not a problem. Herbo, yeah, that's what she meant to say, definitely. Sorry, she gets a little shy sometimes, especially when it comes to stuff like this. I do not. Flannery, Flannery starts grumbling quietly to herself. Anyway, take it easy, Hotshot. Try not to get, let those insecure idiots get to you. You live how you want. I know I haven't spent much time with Whitney before, but I never expected her to be so... charismatic. Whitney, class is starting. Alright, talk to you later. I gotta say... Those two renewed my faith in humanity, at least for a little bit. After afternoon, and we didn't get to take the quiz. Oh. Alright, well here it is. Oh. The lesson's over. And that concludes our lesson for today. Finally, I can't wait to get out of here. I enjoy Professor Oak's lectures as much as the next guy, but yesterday really tired me out. Everyone in the room starts to shuffle out of their seats. Looks like I'm not the only one who's ready to leave either. Not so fast. I haven't dismissed you yet. Hope you all haven't forgotten about the quizzes every Monday and Thursday. Oh, we didn't take the quiz yet. Are you kidding? Whitney, you said those were Mondays and Fridays. Oops, did I really? Well, you know, if you studied, you wouldn't have anything to worry about. Ah, oh, you. 
Okay, class, clear. Death can take out your pencils. Remember, this is graded, and getting a question wrong is twice the penalty of a blank answer. Don't try to recklessly guess. I've been studying my ass off these past few nights, so I should be fine. Right? Question one, how many base stat categories do Pokemon have? Uh, five. You write down what you believe is the correct answer. Time's up. Is that really the correct answer? On to the next question. Brevi technical machine. Okay. Next. Oh, that's it. Correct answer for the first question is six. Huh? Oh, yeah, it is. Damn. Alright. We use stats as a way to measure Pokemon's physical and mental conditions. However, the Pokemon League was first established. Oh, I was thinking of the... Of the first gen stats. Damn it. It was widely believed that Pokemon only had five base stats. Attack, er, hit points, attack, defense, speed, and special. Some years later, the researchers at the Jota region discovered that the special stat was actually two separate stats. As for the second question, the correct answer is technical machine. Indeed. Technical machines are small devices that resemble compact discs. You can use them to teach Pokemon new moves, which le led to greatly expanding the versatility of Pokemon even outside of competitive battling. These handy little discs were once extremely hard to acquire, but now are found in nearly every department store across the world. Truly fascinating. Yeah, that could have gone a little better, but it's a real first real quiz, so now I'll know what to expect. That's it for today, class. Now you're all dismissed. Finally, I'm about ready to drop. Uh-oh. Uh, Parabo, I need to speak to you about a few things. It's nothing urgent, so please come to my office in the research center whenever it's most convenient for you. Uh, sure thing, Professor. Not even a week and you're already in trouble. What'd you do this time? Oh, shove off. I'm sure it's nothing. But I wonder what's so important he has to talk to me privately. Hope it's not about that whole Pikachu fiasco the, on the first day. Anyway. Wait, that was the first day? Huh. Anyway, oh, um, he's talking about when my Pikachu got caught. Running around in my bag. Anyway, he said the research center, right? It sounds like an in interesting place to kill some time. You know, Leaf's always been inviting me to go out since school started. She can get a little overexcited at times, but I do appreciate her going out of her way to show me around. I don't think it'd be a bad idea to return the favor every once in a while. Yeah, why the hell not? Yeah, it'd be rude not to. Besides, she is pretty fun to be around. It's a harm in asking. Hey. Uh... I was gonna drop by the research center and take a look around before doing some errands. Uh, nothing important, just checking the place out and stuff. And, <laughs> I don't know, if you're not busy, would you want to come with? Only if you have the time. I mean, if you got things to do, that went a lot smoother in my head. Yeah, it, it really did. I am this awkward in real life, by the way. Man, I can't remember the last time I invited a girl out to go anywhere with me. It's nerve-wracking. Yeah, neither neither can I. I'd love to go, but did you know I used to be super into science stuff when I was a kid? Mostly marine biology, but I bet other ologies are... <laughs> other, other ologies? Wow. Are just as cool. Great, so when did you want to... But just not today. May asked me to study with her after she got both the quiz questions wrong. She got both the quiz questions wrong. Ah, <sighs> okay. I'm really sorry. That's okay. Figured you would be busy. Thanks for the offer. I'll come along next time, I promise. Alright, I'll hold you to that. 
Yeah, which means you probably need this. Nice. Are you a lucky guy? See you later, Turbo. Huh. <laughs> she probably didn't invite me out in the first place because she had things to do. Well, can't say I didn't try. Anyway, I should get going. After school. Oh wow, this place is... They got the anatomy of a Bulbasaur on the wall. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> Check this place out! It's like Professor Oak's lab back home, except ten times bigger and cleaner. Makes me wonder why Professor Oak would even bother coming back to Pallet Town. There aren't that many students here. The only people I can see are upperclassmen and faculty members. Oh, excuse me. This place looks really neat. Might as well check the rest of it out before paying Professor Oak a visit. And it's Shauna. Herbo, is that you? The one and only. Didn't expect to see you here. Me too. I mean, I didn't expect to see you here. I'm always here on Tuesdays and Thursdays to help Clement around the lab. Oh, uh, who's Clement? He's a friend from Kalos. He's real smart, and I believe he was the leader of the uh, electric gym, if I remember. Anyway, I made you want to visit the research center all of a sudden. Me? Well, Professor Oak asked me to come here, but I'm not sure why yet. Oh, neat. I'm here because of that. I'm not even going to ask why she's hopping around. I'm here today because today the research center brought in Magnemite and Voltorb. We're going to see how much energy they can store in a light bulb. Oh, but we're not going to use them for slave labor or anything. Gosh, no, that'd be awful. You can think of this as like some kind of conditioning or workout routine for Pokemon like Magnemite or Voltorb. And I heard somewhere that since they technically don't have any muscle fibers or whatever, using up their electricity builds up their natural affinity to their... Are you bothering another guest, Shauna? Oh, it's Clement. This is why the new students are all afraid of coming here. What? I don't scare you, do I, Turbo? I mean... Not really. Unless you're hopping around like you were earlier. No, I've seen far scarier things than you. So you're Clement. That's me. And I see you and Sana know each other already. Well, that didn't work. <clears throat> Perhaps crashed on me anyway. That's me. And I see you, uh, you and Sana know each other already. Yeah. Sana's a friend of mine. We met really early in the semester and we've hung out a few times before this. Fascinating. Anyway, Turbo. Let me formally welcome you to the research center. Unfortunately, it's not... Not a lot of usual fun things to do around here. But if you're looking to advance your studies, or even just, just to find something to do when you have downtime, there's no place better than this. Eh, yeah, Clamos a super genius. His inventions are so cool that the school pays him to use them. Isn't that amazing? What, Shauna? Come on, you're embarrassing me. Wow, that's crazy. He's only... One year older than us. Just imagine what he'll do when he's an adult. His adventures are gonna change the world someday. Jeez, you're starting to sound like a lot like my parents. Never heard of a place paying a student to use their equipment. He must be seriously smart. What's someone like Shauna doing hanging out with a kid genius? I bet you're thinking something like, Why is Shauna in the research center with someone like him? Uh... Apparently he's a mind reader. Brilliant. Well, I'll tell you. We met each other back in Lumiel City. Sana and her family happened to be visiting and we hit it off. Even when he was real little, he was already inventing new machines, even though they only worked half the time. <clears throat> anyway, Sana turned out to be a great help with my work. She may not look like it, but her quick thinking has saved me quite a few headaches. 
Hey, what do you mean by... She's been something like an assistant to me ever since. I honestly don't know what I'd do without her. In fact, the fact that Clement and Shauna are so compatible despite their differences in personalities is nothing sort of amazing. I wonder if Gary and I could have ended up like the, these two if we tried a little harder. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, that reminds me. Either you know which way is to Professor Oak's office. I'm supposed to meet him here. Professor Oak? He's straight down the hallway to the left. He's almost always wandering around out here, so you can't miss him. Great, thanks. Catch you guys later. It was nice meeting you, Turbo. Bye bye. I apologize for my shit French accent. If that's even what that was. Anyway. Ah, Turbo. Glad you're here. <clears throat> hey, Professor, you wanted to talk to me about something? Hope he isn't gonna chew me out for messing up on that quiz. Yeah, seriously. Yes, I do. It's about. It's about your place in this academy. Well, yeah, you were the one who got me here in the first place, so what's your problem? Oh, uh, no. It's starting to look like one of those lectures Mom used to give me all the time. Now, don't worry. You're not in trouble or anything. I just think it'd be a good idea to have a little tap before we get things rolling. Specifically, about why you're here in the first place. I'm sure you must have been surprised when you found out you were accepted here. Well, yeah. Kinda. Considering I didn't have a say in it. And I'm sure you're wondering why I specifically recommended you instead of Blue. Wait, what? You didn't recommend Gary? Recommending me is one thing, but not recommending your own grandson? No, I didn't. For one, he was almost always guaranteed... He was almost guaranteed to be accepted into the academy anyway, with or without my help. Despite his attitude, he's very talented and performs ex exceptionally well in his studies. I guess all the bragging from Gary had to have come from somewhere. He is Professor Oak's grandson, so it's not all surprising that he's smart. Gary's smart? <sighs> oh, there's two, two words in a sentence I never thought I'd use. So, why me? Never even thought about going to a place like this. Figured I was going to be in Pallet for the next three years. And that is exactly why I recommended you. Kerbal, I believe you have the ability to become an amazing Pokemon trainer. Um... Wow. <laughs> you know, Mom told me to you say that a lot. This is the first time I'm hearing it myself. I asked for you so you could have the chance to improve your natural abilities here in the Academy. You won't get that this kind of education anywhere else in the world, especially not in Pallet Town. Okay, what about the uh, Pokemon Academy in Violet City? How about that? No? Alright then. We both know that you can be a little unmotivated sometimes. You just need a little push to recognize your full potential. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest here, Professor, but that's just silly. Oh? No offense, but why would you think that? Gary's been training and battling Pokemon f for like a decade now. I haven't really done much of anything these past years. How's a guy like me supposed to compare to people like him? Well, for one, I'm not an asshole. So there's that. I figured you might think something like that. Yes, it's true that... <clears throat> Blue is a little more savvy in training Pokemon than you. But he is no more brilliant than the average student here, and certainly not you. You may not realize it, but I believe you have the innate talent for perceiving the emotions of Pokemon. Take your Pikachu, for instance. Pikachu? What's he got to do with this? Haven't you found yourself understanding what Pikachu is saying or feeling just by listening to his voice? Or watching his body language? Sure, but that's just because we grew up together. We know everything about each other. No, no, Turbo. You have an instinctual bond with him that's almost never found in other trainers. You might take it for granted, but I've never seen anything like it. We humans can't directly communicate with Pokemon due to language, but somehow, you can. This incredibly rare ability is what will set you apart from the rest of your peers. <coughs> Ever since I gave you Pikachu, I saw something truly special in you. Something I haven't seen in a long time. This is quite the bombshell he's dropping on me. Yeah, yeah you think? Are you listening, Turbo? 
Uh, I don't get it. You're gonna have to speak up, Turbo. I said I don't get it. Definitely no way I'm some kind of Pokemon Whisperer. Doesn't that stuff involve some spiritual baloney or something? <laughs> Deny it all you want, but it's the truth. I feel like this is kind of cheating. I don't want an unfair advantage over everyone else. I'd look like a jackass. I think you have more important things to worry about, like passing your classes, for example. Right. I keep forgetting that he's still part of the staff. It's easier said than done. Didn't you say half your classes failed last year? Or half your class failed last year, rather? Oh, for fuck's sake. I thought it was going to crash on me again. Ah, <laughs> yes. I suppose they did, but I trust you're different, Turbo. Once you've advanced in your studies and worked hard, you'll see that you know more than you think. You just have to see this through the end. I'll do my best. All I ask is, f all I can ask is for you to try. Oh, I must get going. Thank you for coming in, Turbo. That was a good talk. Tell your mother I said hello. Oh, one more thing before I go. Do try and keep an eye on Gary for me. He seems to have a natural talent for getting into trouble with the wrong <coughs> with the wrong crowd. Like I'd be able to do anything to stop him. Yeah, seriously. Also, don't tell anyone about this little talk we had. If the rest of the staff finds out I've been playing favorites with my students, I'll be in big trouble. My lips are sealed. Not that I was paying attention to any of this anyway, probably. Good. Now, I have other duties to attend to. I suggest you turn in early tonight. This is a new school for you, and you must be exhausted after the only orientations and new classes. I don't want you falling asleep in my class like you almost did today. Crap, you saw that? Thanks, I'll... I think I'll do... I think I'll do just that. Very good. See you tomorrow morning. Is what Professor Oak said really true? Am I really that different from everyone else? It almost seems like a dream. Well, there's only one way to test this out. And we're gonna save it real quick. Alright, evening. Damn, Brendan isn't back yet. I was hoping to talk to him about my condition. Hey there, buddy. Did you miss me? Huh. Yeah, sorry. You'll have to get used to it. Gotta keep this up for three years, remember? Oh, come on. Lighten up. Once my schoolwork starts clearing up, you won't even notice that I'm gone. It'll be just like middle school. Yeah, that got him. I'm saying that, but if Professor Oak really meant what he said, I need to start reevaluating myself as a Pokemon trainer. And myself as a person. Yeah. Just give me a second to sit down. It's been a long day. I feel like I could just sink right through this bed right now. <sighs> oh, what the hell? I can't sit still after all that. Oh, it's nothing, Pikachu. I'm just thinking about some stuff. Say, Pikachu, you haven't spent much time with Charmander, right? Would you like to? I'll take that as a yes. Alright, come on out, Charmander. <laughs> now that I think of it, this is the first Pokemon that I've kept in a Pokeball. I'm no expert on these things, but I wonder if they're comfortable in there. In any case, he sure looks happy to get out of the ball for some fresh air. Riveting di- <laughs> Ah, riveting dialogue indeed. At least Pikachu looks happy to have another Pokemon to hang out with. That's a relief. I was worried that Pikachu would have trouble meeting new Pokemon. Or that he'd get jealous over being replaced or something. Ah, <laughs> uh, I wonder what Mom would think of this scene. She'd probably think they're just babbling, but I can tell that they're definitely talking to each other. Come to think of it, 
Mom could never understand what Pikachu was saying. Just throw his wild guesses based on whether Pikachu sounded happy, sad, or angry at the time. Sometimes she gets it right, but more often not. Maybe Professor Oak is onto something. What's up, Charmander? You hungry or something? I heard that Pokemon don't grow hungry while they're in their Pokeballs. Yikes, when was the last time he ate? Oh, I still have that candy bar from that weird girl I met when I first landed here. She said it's Pokemon safe, so it wouldn't hurt, right? Here you go, pal. He tossed the Rage candy bar in front of Charmander. Pikachu and Charmander start wrestling over the candy bar. This isn't the most conventional training, but sure, but at least my they look like they're having a lot of fun. Never seen Pikachu play with any of Mom's Pokemon back. Mom has Pokemon? Back at home. Looking back, Pikachu never complained about being left alone at home all the time. I was always worried he would get lonely without me, but it looks like everything turned out okay. Definitely not the most experienced trainer here. But as long as I keep my Pokemon happy, we should get by just fine. Oh crap, Charmander, your ta- Uh-oh. Your tail! Well... Oh god, quick, don't let it spread anything flammable! This- Half this room is flammable, what are you talking about? Oh, where's Brendan's mud kip? Get him out of here! For the love of- Help! Fire! Fire! Oh, uh, Pikachu, you're loving this, but you won't be loving it when the whole place burns down. Oh, there we go. Alright, that's enough excitement for tonight, you two. You're lucky our neighbors weren't close to the fire extinguisher. Were close to the fire extinguishers. Not a word of this to Brendan, you hear? I don't want rumors to start spreading about me. It's all fun and games until someone gets accused of arson. Indeed. Alright, time to hit the hay, guys. I, may, I have my elective quizzes tomorrow. Wait. Oh, that was only Professor Oak's quiz. So I really need to catch some sleep. Come on back, Charmander. You too, Pikachu. You get some sleep. You play with Charmander tomorrow, okay? Alright. Night! And... That will be it for this episode. If you enjoyed the little chat I had with Professor Oak, me... Failing the quiz, or Charmander almost burning down the school, consider leaving a like. And if you want to see more of this, or anything else I have to offer, subscribe and join the Wheeler Brigade. Until next time. Gotta catch them all, stay in school, and keep on rocking.